Hey gamers, it's Grand This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the all achievement uh, playthrough where we're trying to do every achievement in one playthrough. Uh, I need. This is going to be a bit of a cleanup episode. There's so many little things I, I want to fix with the base. I was looking at it just after the last episode and it's kind of driving me nuts, so it's going to be one of those ones. Um, we're also just going to keep searching the star map for uh, other asteroids and we might send some robots to Snowini here to start getting into that one. I'm really looking for the water asteroid though. I think there's one out there uh, because the water asteroid has graphite and graphite's going to give us, um, allow us to make uh, super coolant, which I kind of want for the nuclear reactor. But let's just kind of get started here on what we want here. What do we want to go on the printer first? Grub fruit preserve. First thing I want to do is stop using sleet wheat in everything. Because mixed berry pie, I think, uses it. Yeah, we're going to turn that off. Anything that uses sleet wheat, we're going to turn off. Because I want to save it for... Save it for some berry sludge. Now we don't have much sleep wheat growing on this planet, but we do have it on the other planet, so I'm going to send it from the other planet as well. We're going to turn frost buns off. I think those are the ones that use, use it, so... <coughs> sorry. Um, I also want to get these little critters that are all over the place. Wrangled. We've got some injured dupes here. Abby. Abby, you should get on the massage table. You're looking pretty rough. Uh, I forgot I had this whole thing down here. Okay, one thing at a time, though. One thing at a time. We're going to stay focused here. So, sleet wheat. I don't want to use any sleet wheat for anything on this planet. So, at the grill, we're going to turn off frost buns. And we're going to send all sleet wheat to the other planet. So, I think that's under cooking ingredient up here. Cooking ingredient, sleet wheat. Yeah, we're going to send that to the other planet. Now I'm making grub fruit preserve because I want that for the, uh, the rocket. We're going to turn everything off here except berry sludge. Anything that doesn't rot. Grub, grub, grub fruit preserve is pretty decent for this. And muckroot's fine. Nutrient bars are fine, they don't rot. Uh, the swamp charred heart doesn't rot. Anything that doesn't rot or does or rot slowly. It's kind of what I want on here. Okay, so hopefully let's let's get this stuff sweeped up. Let me go medium speed for a bit here. Sweep all that food up. Okay, that's that out of the way. Rodani's complaining about power usage. Rodani, I need to do some cleanup in here as well. Let's start with this. We're going to disable this electrolyzer because there's a problem up here. This, yeah, this vent is overpressurized, so it can't filter out the uh, extra. So we need to lower the pressure in the base for this to work. We're going to do that. Actually, let's go full speed. I think it's safe. I'm going to remove some of these batteries because I don't need them anymore. Get rid of three because they're just generating heat and I don't want any more heat in the base. I still don't have a great haul here. We need an artist. I was waiting for a dupe to skill up. So let's see. Brandon, do you have the skills yet to be... Actually, we were going to make Liam the artist. Let's make sure Liam can do art. Probably can't. Liam, you are now allowed to do decorating. I'll make a neutral. Researching, you're not doing any research, so... Cooking will allow you to cook. Actually, there's no cooks on this planet. That's kind of funny. Okay, everything is neutral. We don't really have anything to cook anyway. Uh, on this planet, I got a suggestion to use the beacon, one of these beacons. 
targeting beacon. Uh, this will help us land stuff where we want it to. And that needs uh, some wire. Like that. In fact, I'm going to move this up one. Because what I want to do is make a nice a nice ceiling on this base right along here. Or we get it along here. Which way? Uh, I think I'll do it along here. Just to flatten that out and make it a little bit nicer. When they get around to it. We'll make it a 6 so it's a little bit higher than neutral. I, don't remember, I wonder if this robot's going to get pushed up. Because some of our payload ended up way over here. <laughs> There's 20 reed fibers stuck over here. We'll get to it someday, uh, but we don't really need it because we've got some in here. But we don't have a... we have all of it in here actually. We don't have a... oh, empty storage. I didn't even realize we could do that. That will get that out of there. Pretty soon. So yeah, now that these are off, the pressure should kind of decline in the base a bit. And I realized my extra suit forge in here broke my uh, broke my room, my nature reserve. So we're gonna take that out. So that'll keep them busy for a little while. I think things are somewhat stable. We want all that hydrogen to kind of float up to the top. And there's a bunch stuck over here, and I actually want them to mop up the stuff, so... When they get around to it, we can mop that up. And I guess we could mop this up. And we'll give them a little dig order down here as well. Just to get this stuff out of there. Okay, that should be good. I'll hopefully I remember to bring the uh, to turn the oxygen back on, but I think they're good for a while here. Okay, Bulgani. Bulgani's got a lot of issues as well. The wiring is just a complete nightmare. So <laughs> I want to do heavy watt wire up here. I don't think we have any wire here though. Let's see, heavy watt wire. We don't really have any wire on this planet. And heavy conductive wire. We don't really have any of that either. I'm thinking of setting a bunch of lead back to this planet. So let's do that. Like I said, this is going to be the cleanup episode. Because there's so much stuff bothering me. Let's get this Draco put away. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to change this up a little bit here. We're going to put the incubator in here instead. I'm going to remove this incubator. Actually, I'm going to remove all incubators. And then we're going to open this up. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want this room to kind of get full of of critters. I just want stone hatches to be here. The reason for the incubator is normally all eggs are getting put into the evolution chamber. Stone hatch eggs, yeah, they're all going up into here to evolve into meat, which is great. So that's our food source, one food source. But I don't want any more than just one room of stone hatches. I actually want to stop feeding these guys down here. We're going to stop feeding them. And let them kind of die off. I never did hook this room up. Should probably be automating that. Look at these guys. No idle dupes anymore. All they do is run on the wheels and get faster. Yeah, we probably want a little bit of oxygen going in there. <laughs> Actually, it'll, it'll even out. It'll be fine. But we do want a little bit more airflow for the CO2 to fall down. Let me put one of those here as well.
Okay, so I wanted to send... Uh, someone pointed out that these were set to 5,000. That was for a different thing I was doing. So we'll fix that so they're both 20 tons. And we're going to send 20 tons of lead. Or maybe 40 tons of lead. Let's refine metal. Lead. We're going to send that over to... Over to the other planet there. What are you doing here, little guy? You don't belong there. Okay, we're gonna get him put away. We gotta get the rocket going as well, so let's get our rocketeer in here. How are we doing for food? We got. Good, we got food that doesn't rot. Muckroot, berry sludge, swamp charred heart. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. 15 kilograms, looks good. Let's get our crew on board. Get our astronaut on board. Come on, buddy. Okay, here he is. Oh, he's getting irradiated. Take the suit off. Set where we want to go. Now, I want to go out this way. Distance five tiles. You know, we could go to here, do some mining, and um, get the artifact, and then do some ex exploration. I think that'll work. So five tiles there, five tiles back. Set that destination. Someone pointed out that I used the wrong, I used the small cargo bay. Should have used the large. We'll swap that out later. What are the warnings? What are the warnings? Drill cone missing diamond. Oh crap. Okay, we want to get that fixed first, so let's do this. Sandstone? Probably not. We probably want obsidian. Right over to there. Fix the fix the drill cone so we can actually do some more drilling. Priority 9. Yep. Hopefully someone will do that really quick. There they go. And we got a bunch of rads building up here not doing us any good. So we'll want to fix that. Now let's see. Can they... I wonder why this thing is drilling away. It hasn't even done anything yet. 582. Fleeing. Uh oh. What's going on here? Someone's fleeing. I think it's the crabs. Maybe. They got too close to the crabs. They shouldn't be able to get in there. More pips need rounding up. Let's get these guys rounded up. They should all be in here. <clears throat> they don't have anything to eat, so they're just gonna. Gonna kind of starve in there, but there's a th there's another one. What's he doing? <laughs> Is he trapped? Yep. <laughs> he looked kind of strange. Okay, we're gonna put uh, stone hatchling in here. Already seven. I'm gonna let these guys dwindle a little bit. I think. And we gotta fix these guys in a bit here as well. Let's see if that drill is all ready to go here. Waiting delivery. It is reachable. Do we have diamond? Yeah, we got 22 tons of diamond. There we go. It's ready to go. Okay, let's launch this thing. And she's off. She's off to her. Brand new asteroid. Okay, we're gonna drill that. We're gonna get an artifact, hopefully. And some rock that we don't really care about. Actually, we care, care about it for the achievement. We need to mine a, mi a million thingamabobs for one of the achievements. So we'll get there, we'll do some mining, and while they're mining, uh, our astronaut will do some scanning around here, and hopefully we'll find the water world things here. Okay, the, the hydrogen's getting cleaned up. Let's 
good. Let's see what's on the printer. Shine Nymph. Quite a pilot here. Do we want Shine Nymphs in here? Probably not. That reminds me of another thing that's on my list. Well, uh, let's see. <laughs> Build right here. Is there a weird? Is there a geyser in here or not? There is. I'm gonna dig this down. Definitely want to get rid of this hydrogen. And this is a problem. This is gonna start cooking everything. So we're gonna have to wall this off after we get some exosuits going. I'm thinking of doing exosuits maybe around here. Let's do a floor right here. Not priority nine though, like a six. We're gonna do a, fo a floor here, put some suits here, do a switch back, and then everything below here will be all exosuits. Cause we don't wanna be able to get up here and do lots of stuff, so. And we don't need a lot of them because there's only two dupes here. So I'll put the checkpoint right here. Leaving room for a little for more later if we need them. We probably won't need them. And then a couple suit docks here. Yep, and then we're gonna need power for that. Probably a separate power circuit. Let's see if we covered our nature reserve. We did, okay, that's good. That's gonna help morale a lot. Do another few changes here. Radiation. Oh, we got some dupes going in here. That's the problem. I think I can keep them out of here completely if we just convey some stuff up here. Uh, yes, we could do that because uh, they keep coming up here delivering little tiny bits. Let's put a conveyor loader down below here. Let's check what the rods are like here. Put a conveyor loader right uh, here maybe. Mostly safe. Here, we could put it down here. Let's put it down here. A little bit safer. Then we'll send some rails up this way. And we'll drop the phosphorite on the ground here. kind of don't want all the phosphorite up there. I guess we do. It's fine. I'm not really, really using it anywhere else. I guess we'll do a priority nine for now. That's fine. And then we can take the storage bin and get rid of that. And I'm thinking of using the rad bolts. We got all these excess rad bolts building up. We could be building a... Um, uh, nuclear rocket somewhere up here. So I think I'm going to do that. We can also put it down here somewhere. Actually, we could put it over here. It has to be pretty high up because it just gives off tons of nuclear waste. Uh, but that's not a priority right now. We don't need a nuclear rocket this second. Let's go check on space. We're not there yet. Okay. We'll be there eventually. I guess we could start start charging up the rocket. That would not be too harmful. Uh, Rad bolts kind of decay as they travel, so if we put it all the way over here, it's 
probably not the best, but all the nuclear exhaust will end up down here, which is kind of nice. Let's take out this solar here. Mm, or we can do it here. I'm, I'm kind of torn here. Let's put it... Let's put it here, but up a bit. Let's just put it here. But it's going to need to be... We need ladders for it. I want it pretty high because it's going to dump a bunch of radiation. Copper. Let's make it out of lead. Need to build a ladder up to it. And we need room for the rest of the actual rocket. So, But nuclear rockets are a little bit shorter. So let's put it right here and see how that goes. We can always change our minds. So make that a six, it's not an emergency. And then we'll send, oh, I need to send some rad bolts. I might have to get rid of the solar as well. Let's see, can we build ladders? Oh, we can build ladders right here. means we can build our rad bolt. You know, we'll put a rad bolt thing reflector right here. That'll capture all the extra rad bolts. And we can reflect them and put them up in a rad bolt engine here. I think that'll work. Okay, we'll let them work on that. That was not one of the things I wanted to do though. I'm going to turn one of the polymer presses back on, get some more plastic going. Okay. What else was on my list? Uh, puffs. We need to ranch puffs for an achievement, so I need a ranching station in here. So we're going to do that. We're going to put a ranching station just down here. Or we could pull this back a bit. Put it in a little bit earlier. Yeah, let's do a... door right here instead. And then we can put a ranching station in here. I don't want them picking up the slime, but they can keep pooping and making slime. That's fine. I'm gonna put the door right here instead. And then we're gonna ranch in the station right here. We don't need to put eggs in there anymore. That's good. Get rid of this door. Station here. I love when these guys fart, it's so funny. New station right there. And this polluted water should give them something to breathe for a while. It is going to be full of slime one. Oh, maybe not. And this way we'll get some. Some ranched puffs, and that should help us get to get us towards one of the achievements, which is which one is it? It is critter whisper. Find and tame one of every critter. So, shine bug, shovel, gasimu, puffed. We're about to get the puffed out of the way. He's happy. <laughs> uh, they are gonna, they'll possibly poop here. Which I guess is not the best, because they're gonna run in here and grab the slime. <laughs> oh, they just pooped. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think there's any easy way around that. But at least that will uh, that will get them going. Uh, what else do we want to do here? I want to get rid of all of this. This was my mushroom farm. Actually, I want to keep that. This I want to get rid of. This is not doing us any favors. And this down here is not doing us any good. So I'm going to get rid of this whole thing.
And shine bugs are also on the list. And there's some shine bugs up here. There's also a bedroom up here I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. And I need to seal this in so we can start dealing with the shine bugs. Put a floor right here, I think. And then a grooming station in here and start grooming these guys. Some plants in the way. Well, we don't need these here. Actually, I'm going to put the grooming station here instead. And we'll put, like, sh shiny eggs in here, maybe. Okay, I seem to be missing shine nymph eggs. Okay, that's sealed. Is that back to being a nature reserve? It is, that's good. Make sure this is all high priority. Get that out of there. Okay, this... I'll leave the doors in. To keep that nature reserve. No one's really going to be going in here. Oh, we want to start grooming these guys. Okay, stations, grooming station. Just chipping away at those achievements. Okay, what do we got on the printer here? Oh yeah, shiny bags. <laughs> I guess, uh... We'll put them in there. We got, uh, these guys. We're still grooming these. Let's stop grooming these guys. Oh, someone's gonna get stuck here. Maybe not. They're working their way over. We just need a, a, a regular floor here. Granite. I'm not sure what I'll use this room for yet. Yeah, but I'll put a room here. And the CO2 is all trapped in here. This is our old fish tank. So let's... Clean this up. Uh, put some airflow all the way down here. This would be a nice mushroom room, but we don't need a lot of food right now. And my Drekker room isn't working great, but it's not terrible either. We should seal the top though. Seal the top and then get some little bits of hydrogen in here. And I think these could probably be expanded. We could send, we could bring these down one. Oh, and I forgot to hook up the uh, automation here. This should be, if the temperature is below 40, turn this heater on. This whole area is insulated though, so it should stay nice and toasty in here. They're eating the bomb lily. This is working okay. We need to put some hydrogen in here though. <clears throat> Where should I do that? There's a bottle, gas bottle, bottle emptier. The canister emptier. I think it's, oh, it's three tall. We can put it right here. Let's put it right, maybe at the top. Need some tiles here. Wrong button. This will make it airflow. And we'll release a bit of hydrogen in here, and these guys will start to grow scales. We also need a one of those uh, shearing stations. So I need a place for that as well. I'm going to remove the bottoms off these. Yeah, this is in the way. Uh, we'll remove the bottom off this one at least. In segments. Be careful here. And shift this down one. Because we have the room. 
Okay, this will be for hydrogen when we eventually get some unbreathable hydrogen. Come back to this later. Mix it up a little bit later. They're getting groomed though, that's good. Uh, this needs some fixing. Got stinky air here. And let's put a floor back on. gear out of there as well. Okay, we're gonna send that lead over the other base, so let's get that going. Actually, these, there's some complaints about this stuff down here. There's a bunch of natural gas. The, all the farts from one of the dupes is collecting down here. We need to get rid of that, so we're gonna put a pump here. And we're going to send its output to this filter that I already have. Going this way. Some bridges. That should suck up the natural gas in this room needs power I'm gonna use this other power line actually where do we get there? new planetoid detected it says two of them Moo Mona let's check it out Moo Mona oh this is where the Moo uh, gassy Moos are I've never actually explored this planet, and I think it's going to be kind of tricky. <laughs> I think we've done all the scanning. Let's check inside the rocket here. Scanning complete. Still got lots of food. Okay, I think we should probably come... Oh, we're still mining. We're still mining. How, how close are we done? 480, oh, remaining car cargo capacity 4, it's almost done. It'll be done any second, you know? We definitely need a either a bigger petroleum rocket or a bigger, or a rad rocket so we can get really far out. Okay, that's almost done. Okay. That's done. Let's send this rocket back. Change. Right, we're going to go back here. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Yes, everything else is going out. Perfect. We're going to add some automation here. If we detect farts. If farts detected. I'm probably I'm probably gonna retire this whole slickster farm down here. It's not really doing a whole lot for us. <laughs> Let's set these to auto harvest. Are these things growing in here? No. Okay, if farts. Where are the farts on this list? There they are. If farts pump away. There's a mixture of gases appearing there. I'm going to open this up a bit. That should slowly suck the farts up. Get them out of there. Okay, looking good. If 
food is good. We got lots of food. Dupes are getting their exercises. Oh, that, that's another thing on my list. <clears throat> I wanted to give almost every single dupe a new skill. I want to give them all carrying. It's going to set their morale requirements up a little bit, but it's going to help them with their duties. Most of them already have it. Uh, we don't need... Kate probably doesn't need it. But we'll give it to her anyway. Okay, John Charles, you're a researcher. Oh yeah, we'll add it to you as well. I think I can probably retask my researchers to do other stuff. And even Max here. We could get them all into the carrying too, actually. Okay, what else do we got here? Carrying, carrying. I think we can do it. Oh, too many repercussions. Andrew, yeah. Do that as well. And exosuit wearing. Your morale requirements are a little bit sketchier. Our cook can be a good carrier. Same with our digger. Okay, that should help things across the board. Should help a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put a incubator over here for these guys. And that rocket, is it back yet? Probably not. Not even close. Okay, shine bugs. Are you being uh no, you're outside of stable. I think we gotta get rid of our park sign in order for this to become a ranch. Room size 96. Actually that's perfect. Stacking on the phone. No one's calling. We should put one of these on the other planet so they can talk long distance. Okay, is this now a ranch? I think it is. Yes. Now we can start grooming these guys. I think we have to feed them. Diet. Bristleberry, bristle, phosphorite. We're going to feed them little bits of phosphorite. I think we need a special feeder for them. A flying airborne critter bait? No. I think maybe we can just give them a regular feeder and they'll eat out of that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. Okay, let's open this door. Okay, so, a lead. Let's send the lead. Fine metal. Lead. And then we're gonna empty these. And that lead is gonna be to fix the power grid on Blagani. Because <clears throat> it's really, really bad. We're gonna do heavy watt wire up here. Heavy watt wire. We don't have any lead yet. Should be there momentarily. Here it comes. Oh, actually, I was, I was building the wrong wire. We want heavy wa conductive wire, lead. Is it picking? Yeah. Uh, we got 40 tons. It means we can make 40 long here, which isn't very long. We'll bring it down to here. Well, let's get it to there first. Electrical engineering. Who can be our electrical engineer? I think, uh, Jaron here, maybe? 
Jaron, you are all, you are electrical engineering is up here. You're you're a builder. This might mess up your morale a little bit, but let's see if we can do it. So we're going to retire the telescope. It's not in use anymore. It's scanned everything it can scan. And I'm going to bring the heavy watt conductor wire all the way down to here, maybe. And then we'll do some transformers down here. And then we can add a whole bunch of solar. Okay, let's build some more. Not priority nine, though. Come down to here. We're going to need to put it through the wall here. So we'll do a conductive joint plate right here. Conductive joint plate. Right there. Now this door, we're going to have to lead some power up to that door. And this circuit, um, we're going to build a lead wire beside this for now. We should really have a special place for the wire. That's not in their main path, but they won't actually be up here much. So it's probably okay. Okay, we got breathability on the rocket. Hmm. Oh, it's because of this. Okay, let's turn the pump on. <clears throat> Clear that CO2 out. And how are we doing? Are we back? Almost back. Soon. Seeds, we'll take them. Still need more airflow here. CO2 is stuck. And the CO2 is stuck in here. But not really much we can do with it. I think I'm going to open this up. We're going to change this to some other kind of room. We're going to put airflow right here. Okay, I was going to put some hydrogen in here. Let's do that real quick. We need a place for hydrogen. Actually, let's steal some of the hydrogen coming off here and stick it in a canister filler. Right there. Okay. This is kind of bothering me, so we'll fix this. Oh, is this an artifact? Yeah, this is a this is an artifact. We actually need that. That's a terrestrial artifact that I was looking for last time. Let's take it. Remove. We need ten of these. this. Inspect this. New log entry. Oh my god, the janitor! What did the janitor do? Busted a wheel off my office chair. <laughs> he totally smells. Oh, gross. crabs still because their eggs are in here we're gonna have to I have to figure out how to deal with these guys in a better way how's oxygen good food's good what should we do next uh I was bit, bit busy building this up we're gonna make the floor made out of ball and lily because I think I just ruined this stable no, it's still stable. Oh, but I need a couple of tiles for 
something. The shearing station. The shearing station should be at the top. Once we get the hydrogen in there, maybe we'll uh, we'll put the shearing station right here. Cycle 560 is coming along. Let's put tiles there. We'll still be able to get around. Let's copy the settings here. So we should have some hydrogen collected by now. Let's double check. Canister empty here, yeah. 25 kilograms. And they should be able to bring this down and dump it in this room. Have to put a higher priority on it, maybe. We're gonna do bomb lily at the bottom here. Oh, it's not gonna grow here. What am I thinking? We need to get the CO2 out of here. Man, and I've just trapped them in there. Terrible. They're terrible. We must rescue them. These guys are probably crowded as well. Yeah, they're cramped. We need to do a lot of automation in here. Get their eggs out. Yeah. Look at all these guys in here. Oh, I did want to put some more ice in here. Let's do that. Low priority ice. Ideally. Ice we have. That's brine ice. We don't want that. Regular ice. We have lots of regular ice. I do have a plan for most of it. Let's just stick that right here. Priority three. What's this Draco doing here? You don't belong in there. Get you out of there. All these guys are stuck in here. What are we doing for sand? Sand, sand, sand. 14 tons. Okay, we're okay for sand. I'm gonna dig this out though. Pitch of pepper nuts. Dig these out. Okay, let's zoom out here, take a look at things. Subscribe! What was that? What else was on my list? So, Dreco fixed. That's not really fully fixed, but kind of fixed. Hatch fixed. Tame a shine bug and a puffed. I think we've done that. Sleetweed. We dealt with the sleetweed issue, kind of. And Raydani had an issue with O2 and H2. Actually, our, our rocket is probably back. It is. Potato, time to get back on your in your suit. I'll complain of every time I see it, but the assignment for the Atmos suit should just have one member because there's only one person in here. But I, dig I digress. Okay, uh, let's land. Land and turn this off. Landed. There comes our payload. And our artifact should be somewhere up here. Model nuclear. That's cool. That's very cool. Ground that rocket. Okay, we'll let the rocket get refueled, rewatered. Oh, it's got lots of water. Oxygen's good. I think I stopped making oxalate, so that's probably going to be an issue. Let's. Uh, 
Where's my ox leg maker? Right here. How many how much ox leg do we have? Not a whole lot. Let's make some more. Turn this back on. Okay. Did we get these guys tamed? Yeah, they're tamed now. Let's feed them. Shine bug. Shine nymph. Shine nymph. Phosphorite. Just got an alarm about something. I don't know what it was. Insufficient oxygen generation. I think we're okay. Look, look at the base. Fleeing. Who was fleeing from what? From the bug? That's strange. Hm. And what is this planetarium doing in here? <laughs> uh, we're an analyzing the uh, artifacts. So we got a vacillator recharge. Nuclear power plant. Let's put that right here. Looks like that's something else here. Archaic tech. It's a VHS tape. tape. <laughs> Got some drowning hatches. Oh, some of the some of the uh, fungal spores got replanted <laughs> from the pip, I think. Let's take those back out. Don't need those. Okay, Blagani, we were working on our power. Let's see how that's looking. We are going to um, do a lead line along here. How much lead do I have left? Quite a bit. We'll bring that down to here. And we'll do our transformers on this row here. Okay, power. <clears throat> power, power. Make him out of iron, I guess. Since we're low on lead. We could send some more lead from the other base. But we'll put it right here. So this will be for the first circuit. And we'll do a couple of these. Crops, what are they complaining about? Not quite sure. Some seeds. I do want to build a sleetweed farm at some point. We lost our grub grubs. Where on earth did they go? Why did they die again? They have food. Grub grub wormling. Grub grubs. Stick those guys in there. Uh, Now they have a place to go, at least. So we'll get this guy put away. There he goes. And cop it. Oh, look at this guy. Get the other one moved down there. Actually, we might as well get both of these guys. Remove this station. We didn't actually tame these guys. Are they on the list? I don't think they're on the list. Let's check. Puffed is not on the list yet. Shovel. Where? What's up with my puffs? Do 
two of them died. Oh, the, the, they're getting trapped down here. Oh, no, they're all there. Cramped. Okay. Cramped and hungry. And they're groomed. But they're not fully... They have their little tags on them. Maybe we need the regular puffs, not the uh, puffed prints. I think that might be it, actually. Check this again. Critter Whisperer. Yeah, they want the regular puffs. And to get these guys to encourage them to make pufflet eggs, we need... Who knows what we need? Pufflet egg chance is 100%. So next round of eggs. Well, the egg is stuck down here. Maybe when this hatches, it'll uh, come back up. I think I'm going to actually put a door here, maybe. Well, that'll, that'll make the thing too small. Hmm. I don't want this guy to drown, so we're going to actually... We're going to cut in here. Let's put a door here. Cut in here. And go down here. Open this up a little bit. That's our puff right. Oh, is that a puff prince? No, that's puff egg. That's what we need. A little bit slimy in there. <laughs> Got some farts along here. Okay, this CO2 I want to get out of here as well. We kind of wanted to strip mine this whole area. Let's set that up. Low priority. We'll use granite. We got lots of granite. I have no plans for this area, but we're going to strip mine it. Clear out all this crud. Okay, I'm not sure what's going to happen to this egg. We could put an incubator here and move the egg up. That's probably the best way to do it. Incubator there. Priority nine. Yeah, that'll save this egg. And then get the egg out of there. Bring it upstairs. I think that'll do it. I'm leaving this little bit of water here for any slime they dig up. Start to get in here. Project priority three, that's fine. And the CO2 that's building up in here, we can let it vent through here and fall down. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Blagani. How to lead. Where did all the lead go? <laughs> Thought we had lots. Guess we gotta send some more. Yeah, let's send another chunk of lead over. From here. Find metal. This is a little bit manual, unfortunately. Lead, zero kilograms. What? I think we have lots of lead here. Pretty sure.
thought we did. Did we use it all up somehow? We got 119 tons. Okay. We can afford to send another 40 over there. Actually, mop this up. Okay, there goes some more lead. Uh, that's probably enough. I don't want to send it all. Okay, that's probably good. <laughs> lead, how much is left? Might take a second for this to update. Okay. I guess a lot of it's just still in the ground here. Yeah, we're gonna get the CO2 out of here. It's really not good. I'm gonna put some airflow here. So this can fall down and make its way. It might get trapped here. These tiles are kind of in the way, so let's just remove some of those. Let the COT2 make its way down. Down to the Slicksters. Oh, hydrogen. We let out just a little bit too much hydrogen. Uh, let's remove these. That's good. We got the hydrogen in there now. That's good. And plus some extra. Plus some extra. And we gotta fix this bottom section. Oops. And come on, guys. You know what? You're just gonna you're just gonna get trapped, and that's that's just gonna be how it is. Just how it's gonna be. Whoever's stuck in there, it gets is just gonna be stuck in there. I guess we could open this up and get them back out. That is my insulating layer though. We'll just let him we'll let him live in there. Okay, now that we got this, now we need a shearing station. Shearing station. Oh, it's three wide? Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um... Hmm. Well, we can put the critter drop-off here instead. And then put the shearing at top. We seem to have released quite a bit of hydrogen in here, though. It's okay, though. It's all liquid locked away. Should be safe. Remove these. Down here. Shearing stations. Copy these settings before they get disintegrated. What are the settings actually? Drecklets, gr glossy drecklets, auto wrangle. We'll take auto wrangle off because that's not really going to help us any. There's nowhere for them to go. Now we can put the shearing station in. Shearing station. There, there. Need some power. We'll do it to the floor. Okay, looking good. We're at the one hour mark, so we gotta wrap things up. 
Um, I feel like I got some stuff cleaned up. Not everything I wanted to clean up, but uh, a decent amount. A decent amount. We got to closer to a few more achievements. We need to build a nuclear reactor at some point. I do have a plan for that. I was going to build like a sustainable nuclear reactor, but we only need it to run for five cycles. So I'm thinking of maybe doing something a little bit different, a little more temporary, because I don't really need the power. I have lots of power. And it takes a lot longer to build a really sustainable nuclear reactor. So, so I'm just kind of looking around here. See what we got. See what we got. Uh, we'll take a look at everyone before we close up here. I want to automate dropping some ice into this thing, but eventually we need to have a sustainable way to cool this hot geyser. Actually, the hot, yeah. We need a way to we need a way to cool that down. Longer term, I want to finish my bedrooms. This mess has probably been here this whole time. I'll clean that up. That's missing. Fix that. I want to square off this tank at some point. Things are coming along though. We got all this ice that's about to melt, but my plan is to use the ice for the nuclear reactor. I want to build a a giant pool of fresh water filled with ice and then I'm going to drop the hot nuclear waste into that and it should just let all the heat kind of dump into the water and ice. We probably won't even need a steam turbine. Uh, then we'll run the reactor for a short while. And I also want to make a sleep weed farm. Just a tiny one at some point, maybe in here, but probably closer to the base. Danny has breathability. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the electrolyzer back on. I knew that would come back to bite me. Let's turn that on. There's some oxygen down here at least. Quite a bit actually. <laughs> and there's some oxalate we can uh, expose here to help accelerate that a little bit. Let's pop that up. Okay, that could have been a Disaster. Looks like all the hydrogen is gone though, that's beautiful. I did want to build some exosuits uh, on this asteroid this episode, but we didn't get around to it. I wanted to put uh, all the, all the uh, dirt into one place here. I'm glad I looked. Good thing for those alarms. Next episode, we'll probably try to get to Snowini. Send some robots there and get the robots to build a ladder down to the bottom so we can get some graphite. Actually, no, that's not there. Send some robots there to do something. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Can we even view this yet? Not yet. We still have to find the water planet. So we'll send a mission out up here a bit. Do some scanning up here. Um, maybe send a mission down here. We'll figure it out. We definitely need a, a, a rocket with some more range, though. But we'll wrap it up there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.